All right, guys, it's your boy, New Teddy Arrow, and I'm here behind the camera. You can see in the reflection. <laughs> but um, we're going to be doing the deck profile of Chris's deck. We haven't had his deck on this channel for, like, ever. So we're going to get right into it. You, anything you want to say? No, not really. No? It's, uh, it's probably going to be the last time I do a deck profile for this deck. Why? Huh? Because he's done with it? <laughs> I'm done with it for a little bit. Alright, go ahead. Until, uh, right where it says Order of Chaos is the middle. Right, right here. Is that good? Right, right here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. Alright. Alright. I run the Triple Magilly. It's a search of the deck, obviously. It does exactly what it's meant to do. Search. Not really. Yeah, and uh, it's a 19 beat stick, if anything else, you know, with the field card on. Triple and Jelly because uh, that plus Hugh Cake or that plus Cat is like bananas and pajamas. It's a really good card. Protects your monster from battle. All that good stuff. Three Hugh Cake. The broken card in my opinion in a whole deck. Banish one monster in your graveyard. Special summon the Madolce mon monster and overstrike Chin pretty much. Dev once per turn. Mm -hmm. I don't make the rules. Does it get cloggy by any chance? Or? The hookah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. a, a little bit sometimes, yeah. Okay. I mean, being that I run practically triple of every Madolce, right. it does get pretty cloggy. I mean, then again, the whole deck gets pretty cloggy. Okay. I mean, you don't want to draw the Messengerata, you don't want to draw too many Magilines, opening two Angelis, I mean, that's fucking. I mean, it's crazy. Like, But sometimes, you, you know, with Ticket, you can just, like, eat over something or destroy it and search the card you do need but yeah sometimes it does get a little cloggy but that's to be expected with this deck i mean no surprise there okay triple messengelato the searcher for spells and traps you only run three well a good madolce player runs three i guess it's a uh, chateau everything like that i mean he is a he's a he. If you draw him, he's not good at all. You want to get rid of him out of your hand as quickly as possible. I mean, if you draw him, then that sucks for you. Hopefully you have Chateau or Ticket. Makes it a 21 beat stick. That's pretty much all it does. And the MVP of the deck. Three Mufile. Kitty. This card is, uh, I think it's the most hated by everybody because it opens up so much shenanigans that aren't needed. Like, this plus Angeli is a guaranteed TR Masu with something else. With ticket on the field, it's another monster. That's, you know, a lot of stuff going on. It's almost an OTK, right? It can be an OTK depending on like what exactly you have in your hand. Cat's really good. I mean, it might people are probably don't run it at three. I feel comfortable with three because uh, Who Cake and Angelia are like the best two pieces in a pot. Yeah, it's, it's the two, it's the two best combos. And for the last card, I run one put and says put in. <laughs> I'm trying it out in the deck, don't get me wrong. Angeli, if I open with Angeli and that's my only card, nine times out of ten, I'll just sack Angeli for Hoop Cake and then special summon Put and Cess, and it's an 18 B that I pops a card when it battles another monster. I think that's pretty pretty, pretty good. good. Right. I mean, that's for that's all my Medulches. So uh, and for the last of the monsters I went to Max C. I mean it's my draw engine and it's my hoop cake powder for the graveyard. I mean, if I don't have anything to any monster in the graveyard, I just activate it and go off like that. I saw my monster that's uh, 18. Okay. To the spells, I run triple MST. I don't have anything to replace that. I, I mean, I'm I'm very hesitant to use it blindly because of so much artifacts back and rows that are chainable that. Like Sanctum and uh, the Shadow Games, those are cards I really don't want to just blindly MST because it doesn't pay off for me. It just punishes me completely. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if I had a card to replace these, I would probably side deck all three. I run Triple Upstart. Uh, the card's good, not necessarily in this deck because I don't want to give my opponent too much life points. I mean, I can OTK them, but uh, this deck, like I said, you draw clunky and you really don't want to wish you know give your opponent a thousand life points to draw a messengelato or a hoop cake with no graveyard right it, it, it's kind of like 
it's kind of contradicting the whole purpose of running like the card, but I mean, I don't have anything to put in there, so uh, then I run two Chateau, two Ticket, that's pretty standard for any Medolce build, I believe. Right. And one Book of Moon, this is for just getting over Winda, you know, if she's on the field, I'm just going to Book of Moon and hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully I could just book a moon and nothing, you know, happens and shuffle it to the deck with TRM2. That's pretty much the only reason I run this. It's just to get over window. Window's a big problem against it, against my deck when I face it. I mean, if they had the band of these, but I tried. What did they have? I tried. <laughs> and uh, I run for traps. I run two Phoenix Chain. I don't run three Secret. because I run two and one Breakthrough Skill that I have in the deck as well. That's pretty much my, uh, my effect hate. I mean, I'm afraid to use... Venus Chain in the main deck because Shadals have the quick play El Shadal Fusion, which pretty much it wastes. I just have this sitting in my background for nothing. Right. It pretty much wastes a slot. And I'm thinking about taking it out just because Shadals are such a problem against my deck. They have so many boss monsters that are just like crazy, and the deck is crazy good. And I mean, El Shadal Fusion doesn't help the situation at all. It's just, uh, there we Wind go. <laughs> Wind is a problem when it's brought out. This guy really doesn't make it against me. He makes like really other crazy plays. But I mean, Shikinaga. <laughs> he does make that. Like, why did my deck have to be all Earth? I mean, <laughs> banned Super Poly plays. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, what was it? Uh, who, well, not who cake. Uh, no, you got rid of a uh, princess, I think. No, no the one that the searcher. Oh, Magdalene. It was like Magdalene. He's a super, super poly. poly. I, just, I just knew the routine. I just bent <laughs> over and I'm like, okay, I'm taking it. <laughs> I run two wiretap, one trap sun. This is for the back row, the, the shadow games, the sanctum, burning abyss. I never faced a deck, right. but I know they have a lot of back row. Now, would yes. you switch it for like three trap stuns or three wiretaps? So I was think actually thinking number? about, I think this is a perfect combination. I mean, wiretap doesn't destroy the it doesn't like neither of these destroy the trap cards it just simply you know you can't use it right i mean uh pretty much these are mainly used for uh vanities solemn morning just shadow games when it's played i mean it does hurt the opponent but like i'd rather them you know have to draw it again than you know having it in their graveyard because i believe that some shit all monsters can return spells and traps back to the hand yep that's the crazy core. And I believe Burning Abyss recycles their Fire Lakes and stuff like that. So I'd rather, I'll feel more safe with it going back to the deck, which is why I run two wire tap instead of two traps under three. Right. Solemn Warning for uh, Shoot All Fusion, uh, anything that would just, I don't want to, like, I don't want, pretty much, I don't want Shadals to get any monster in the graveyard. Mm -hmm. So if I can stop the Fusion card itself, like, that's good for me. I mean, if they have El Shadal Fusion, well, then. Yu Gi is Yu Gi. Right. One Torrential. This card, I'm really afraid to play it in my deck because I don't want to clear my field. I just don't have a Regeki at the time, so I get the job done. <laughs> One Palooza. Self explanatory. The OTK piece. I don't want to run two. I feel like I can search it out whenever I want. Everything in, in Madochi is searchable whenever you want. So I can just search them whenever. One for both. Yeah, I told you. The one bottomless, you know, the one of those that are really good in this game. Right. I feel like compulsion come back to two so or three. So how many cards are in your main deck? That's 40, I believe. 40? Yeah. All right. Let's so zoom through your top. extra. All right. Because you're at nine minutes. We got two Levier. Self-explanatory. Bring back the Angeli. One Invoker. Better than two Invoker. That's the play I never want to have to go back to is the... Cat who cake invoker play it's unnecessary, but you still run it because it needs I, to be just there, in right? case everything goes you know to poop. I can just do that. Uh, I just put this in Nightmare Shark. They suggested it, Teddy suggested it because it can attack directly. I mean, it's the same thing as Heartland Draco, but in the three, yeah, level three, three, and I make threes like crazy, right? One Zen Man, it's my defensive card. I never go into it, but now, like. Super poly into like Shadals and Grista. Yeah, that's <laughs> not, not my the best scenario. One Alucard, Popper. The MVP. Rank fours, two TR two. Two is, I feel, it's the most reasonable number. Three, I mean, if you're running three, then you're doing something wrong. I right. mean, the, set, the deck recycles, you don't need more than two. Dark Rebellion Dragon, my beater, I mean, it gets over problematic beat sticks like. Cool loss and everything like that. I mean, just beats over them. Right. Uh, Downer Magician, that's just 
Another okay. bead stick, and it does piercing. Diamond Dire for problematic cards. Uh, this card's kind of like contradicting because I always have more cards than my opponent because I <laughs> I return everything back to my hand. So like, I never I never made this card I've ever, it's, it's but I time. have it. I bought it. It's staying there. <laughs> One uh, Rap City. City and Berserk Rap, just to get Rap rid of uh, graveyard problems. Burning Abyss, Shadals, anything like that. Chaos Dragons apparently, because that deck is like still relevant. 101, I love it. It's over problematic boss monsters, same thing with Castile. It's a problematic solution solver, so that's the whole deck. Alright, so there you have it. So, Chris, all in all, what you think about your deck in the current meta? I mean, if you have to face it, you're the unfortunate soul that probably didn't prepare to face the deck and you really don't know how. I mean, if you have vanities, more power to you. Other than that, Tiramisu doesn't target. She doesn't return to the. She doesn't destroy. She returns to the deck. So that hurts a lot of decks already. Right. So, uh, she's the best card. Obama for president. Thank you. All right, <laughs> All right guys. Peace. Ten likes on this video. Next video go up. All right, guys. This man just.